Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Drew's Food Reviews and today I've got another episode of What's Poppin' and I found this in my store. I didn't know they were even going to have this one out. Canada Dry has been coming out with a lot of different flavors lately and um, it's usually a mix of uh, ginger ale and they had orangeade, lemonade, they had blackberry. Um, I don't know, there was a couple other ones but I thought I would give this one a try. Brand new one. I don't know what to expect from this one but this is called um, Canada Dry Bold, Bold Ginger Ale. Now, I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> and uh, 140 calories per can and uh, you know, 36 grams sugar, 50 milligrams of sodium. So I don't really know what to expect. I think it's just gonna be a little bit stronger ginger ale, not as sweet, it's more, maybe more carbonated, more uh, ginger punch to it, I don't know. But anyways, Give it a try for you guys out there and for me because I'm kind of curious to see what it's going to be like. And so here we go. Canada Dry Bold Ginger Ale. I have a glass frosted with some ice, so it's going to make it nice and cold and chilled. So for the SMR fans, here we go. Ooh, nice, satisfying drink. There we go. Okay, there you go, nice, foamy. And I can smell that ginger already, the kind of, the ginger flavor of that. Yeah, it smells like regular ginger ale, but I think it's gonna be a little bit spicier of ginger than um, regular, the sweet um, Canada Dry ginger ale. They got Verner's, they've got, oh, there's been a couple other ginger ales that I've tried, but this one is supposed to be bold. Go bold or go home. So here we go. Canada Dry Bold Ginger Ale. Hmm. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, lots more ginger on that one. Um, wow, not very sweet and still got lots of carbonation. A lot, lot more ginger on that, yeah. I can really taste it. It's like a ginger root kind of thing. Not as much sweet. Um, kind of liking that. I mean, ginger is always good for you, but. Yeah. yeah, mostly ginger flavor and not a whole lot of sweet. And it kind of gets that little bit, a little bit of an aftertaste, like a. Um, residual kind of bitterness kind of hits the back of your throat as you um, as you finish it and it kind of it's nice and well-rounded um, good carbonation it does I, I would say it would bold um, I've had ginger beer before and it's kind of like a spicy gingery flavor but it's not bitter it's not sweet it's kind of in the middle I kind of like that a little bit better than the real kind of harsh um, ginger ale sometimes it really hits you this nice and smooth um, not real not real super carbonated some of them are really carbonated lots more and you make you burp and they kind of burn when they go down a little bit but this one nice and smooth not very sweet and um, yeah got very good <clears throat> very good ginger flavor to that so mm. Yeah, more more ginger than than sweetness, and it's got that little bit of an after, not a little bit of aftertaste. <clears throat> so that one's actually good. I like the I like the flavor on that one. If you're more of a ginger pur purist, that would be something that uh, would be very good. And uh, yeah, so this is 1904. It's been around for quite a while. So for the Canada Dry Bold Ginger Ale. That's a good drink. I'll give that an eight out of 11. Nice and smooth, good ginger flavor, not overly sweet, not overly bitter, and a good rounded drink. And I've, I would um, I would get this again. 
I found it in a 12 pack. I don't know if they have it like in the bottles yet or uh, like a two liter bottle yet, but I was able to find it in a 12 pack and it was like on sale. It was on sale. You had to buy like three, three cases and you got buy two, get one free. And it was like $7 for a 12 pack, but I, you might be able to buy them in individual cans, maybe at the convenience store, 7-Eleven or in a bottle if you could find them. Otherwise, um, you know, get yourself a, a 12 pack of this and um, maybe next time what I'll do is I'll get a ginger ale, like regular one and, and compare the two to a head to head kind of thing. So I don't know. But anyways, that's my take on the Canada Dry Ginger Ale Bowl. So if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell right over there. That way you won't miss any future content or if I go live, you won't miss the fun. So until next time, when I will be boldly going where no man has gone before and trying something new for you guys, I'm going to finish this off. And no one has gone before. I'll talk to you next time. And so until next time on Drew's Food Reviews, when I will be boldly going where no man has gone before. Um, until next time, guys, I'll talk to you later. And cheers, everybody. <laughs> Cut. Take until two. Until next time on Drew's Food Reviews. Oops. Well, next Sorry. time on Drew's Food Reviews, when I'll be trying something new and bold. So next time. There we go. So next time on Drew's Food Reviews.